Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the reciprocal and the quotient trig identities and how we can use them to simplify expressions. So first off, let's define each of our reciprocal identities. So my first reciprocal identity is secant theta, and that's equal to 1 over cosine theta. Cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta, and cotan theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. They're reciprocals because they're all just 1 over an original trig function. My quotient identities go for tan theta and cotan theta. Each of these trig functions can be written in terms of sine and cosine. So tan theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta, and cotan theta is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. Let's use some of these identities to simplify expressions. So down here I have simplify each expression. Number one says secant theta times cotan theta. So whenever I have something like this or really any kind of trig expression that I'm trying to simplify, my first goal is always going to be to rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine. Once everything's in terms of sine and cosine, things should start canceling out. So I'm going to start with secant. Secant I can write as 1 over cosine, and cotan I can write as cosine over sine. From here, I can see that my cosine theta is cancel, so I'm left with 1 over sine theta, which is equal to cosecant theta. That is as simple as that expression can get. Number two, same idea. I'm going to rewrite my expression so I have only sines and cosines. Sine theta stays. Tan theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. This is a complex fraction, so I'm going to keep change flip. So I keep sine theta, and that's really sine theta over 1. I change division to multiplication. I flip that bottom fraction. From here, I can see my sine thetas cancel, and I'm left with just cosine. Number three, I'm going to rewrite cosecant squared first as 1 over sine squared, right? If cosecant theta is 1 over sine, cosecant squared is just 1 over sine squared. Carry down the rest of my problem. So sine theta, cosine theta. The 1 sine theta in the numerator cancels with 1 sine in the denominator. So I'm left with cosine theta over sine theta, which is equal to cotan theta. Number four, I'm going to rewrite secant first as 1 over cosine theta. I can rewrite cosecant as 1 over sine theta. This is similar to number two. I have a complex fraction, so I'm going to keep change flip. 1 over cosine theta times sine theta over 1. And I know that sine theta over cosine theta is equal to tan theta. Number five. Cosine theta is already cosine theta. Tan theta I can rewrite as sine theta over cosine theta. Cosine theta stays. Cosine theta is cancel, and I'm left with sine theta. There you go. There are your reciprocal and quotient identities. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Have a great day.